Hey, what's going on guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome to the fourth video in a row of these FIFA 16 Ultimate Team player ratings. Today we go from number 20 to number 11. So we're getting some extremely, extremely high rated players right now. Uh, and there's some, there's some good ones in today's episode. If you wouldn't mind starting off this video by hitting the like button, that'd be absolutely awesome. And of course, if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe for more of this content. If you haven't seen any of the previous ones, there's links down below and in the cards in the top right corner. And I'm going to be following this up every day. And then whenever they drop the Legends ratings and stuff like that, that's what I'm going to be covering too. So we start off today at number 20. The 20th highest rated player on the game is Philip Lahm, who keeps his 87 rating from FIFA 15 Ultimate Team. Now, what have they done to his stats? Well, what they've done is reduce one on the pace, one on the physical, but they've given him plus two dribbling. So now he's got 85 dribbling, which is pretty sick. He's going to be a rock solid CDM. I always love Philip Lahm on Ultimate Team. Uh, even though he's a small guy, he always just works his ass off. Uh, and I'm looking forward to using him for sure. Next up, we've got another player who keeps his rating, and that is Luka Modric. 87 rated for Real Madrid, uh, and he hasn't actually gained any stats. In fact, he's lost stats uh, in, the, in the form of passing and physical, from what I can see there. He's dropped one on the passing, two on the physical, but still a relatively similar card. That's what they've done with a lot of these Real Madrid players, actually, uh, by the likes of Bale and stuff like that. They've just taken one or two stats off and kept them the same rating. Next up, Arsenal fans have got a really good one to be excited about, and it's an upgrade for Mesut Ozil from 86 to 87, so a plus one overall. But they've not given him any upgrades at all. In fact, they've taken quite a few stats off of him. Minus three pace, minus one dribbling, minus one passing, minus three defending and minus one physical. I don't understand how a player can get upgraded and then his stats get downgraded. I don't know. Obviously, what EA are doing are balancing out ratings overall and just getting them right this time around. Another rating that stays the same for FIFA 16 is Sergio Ramos. He keeps the 87 overall rating for a great centre-back card uh, and the only stat they've changed on him, just like Gareth Bale, is minus one on the physical. So he will most definitely be awesome once again. High medium work rates. If the positioning of defenders is more realistic this year, it may be a problem to have centre-backs with high work rates, uh, but we'll see. Just got to wait for the game to come out. Next up, we've got a plus two overall for Cesc Fabregas, who is now an 87 overall rated card. But they've given him no pluses. Again, it is literally rating corrections at this point, I'm pretty sure. Minus one pace, minus one dribbling, minus two shooting. But overall, he's got 81 dribbling, 90 passing. But those stats for an 87 overall rated central midfielder, I don't know. They don't seem to work out for me. Next up today, I'm really, really excited about this one. It is 87 overall Jerome Boateng. He's had a plus one. He got an upgrade in FIFA 15, and he's been upgraded once again to an 87. He's got 79 pace. 87 defending and 84 physical. Oh my days. He's six foot four as well, and he's got great work rates for a centre back. I genuinely think he's going to be the best this year, as he pretty much was last year, but even better. Another huge upgrade now is Tony Kroos, who's had a plus two from an 85 to an 87 overall. Not too shabby at all. Lots of good, high rated Real Madrid players again this year. Um, he's had minus two on his pace and dribbling, and what they've given him is plus eight defending. So he's going to be a rock solid centre midfielder now. He's got 66 defending now, which means you could even possibly play him at CDM and he would do the job well. Right then, in at number 13, we've got another Real Madrid player, another 87 rated Real Madrid player. That is James Rodriguez. He has received a plus one overall increase to an 87 overall. They've taken two off of his pace. Not too big a deal because he's still pretty good pace there for a cam. But they've given him plus six shooting, which I'm extremely excited about. He has got 86 shot. That's madness. Now, I actually scored the best goal that I've scored on FIFA 16 uh, with this guy at Gamescom. I played out a corner from, uh, fr well, played a corner to the edge of the box and literally held LT, which is like, acrobatic shot style and he did this flipping like scissor volley from the edge of the area into the top of the corner from a corner kick which was beautiful okay two more players to go then and we got another very very good player that is Sergio Aguero how this guy's not had an upgrade to at least an 88 I will never know but still look you know be excited for it because he's still going to be an incredible striker on FIFA 16 87 overall rating uh, and they've not given him any upgrades they've actually get taken six off of his defending and one off of his passing but that doesn't really make any difference at all when it comes to being an out and out striker because he's still got 89 pace and dribbling and 87 shooting oh my god 
And the final player of today's episode, in at number 11, we've got Andres Iniesta, who unfortunately receives a little bit of a downgrade to an 88 overall. Still, an extremely high rated card on this game, the 11th highest rated card, normal card anyway, that's not including Legends. Um, but they've kind of kept his card really similar, they've just taken one off of his dribbling, two off of his passing, he'll still perform exactly the same. And actually, when I used Iniesta at Gamescom, he felt the best he's felt in years. Uh, on, on FIFA, just because of the new dribbling system and no touch dribbling and stuff like that, he works. Trust me, he's going to be ins an insane card. Don't even forget that. That is it for today's video. We have now covered 40 player ratings. We've just got 10 to go, and hopefully, those will be with us tomorrow. Again, I'll be covering that. If you missed any of the previous videos and you want to know some of the top 50, there are links all over the place on my channel, playlists for FIFA 16, Ultimate Team, and all of that good stuff. Subscribe if you're new and you want to catch up with all of this content on the daily. Uh, hit that like button as well on today's video. That would be awesome. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time, guys. Peace.